Hey, what's up guys, Nick White here, I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, I haven't made a video in a couple days, but we're getting back into it. This is uh, number 434, number of segments in a string, and it is exactly what you would expect it to be. It is counting the number of segments in a string. When I saw the title, I was like, probably just uh, breaking a string up by whitespace, pretty much. So it's exactly that. Very easy, a lot of dislikes, but uh, it's fine. Uh, check the description for all my information. I do the premium leak code problems on Patreon. Reach out to me via Discord. This is, uh, yep, count the number of segments in a string where a segment is defined to be a contiguous sequence of non-space characters. A segment is defined to be a contiguous, next to each other sequence, contiguous sequence, so letters in a row, uh, of non-space characters. So anything that isn't a space and is a sequence uh, of letters next to each other. So this is a segment. This is a segment, this is a segment, this is a segment, and this is a segment. The rest of them are space characters, so those are not segments. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, that, that's what we want to return, the number of segments. And uh, you might think, well, this is easy. There's a method. You could just split the string into an array um, on white space and then um, just return that the length of the array. Well, you could, but we'll just uh, do it. We'll just loop through and do it, uh, you know, the good old fashioned way, because that's probably what they want you to do here, I guess. So we'll make a variable for our segments set to zero. We will loop through the string. It's a pretty easy problem. So um, you're looping through the string. You want to get character by character. This is the variable that we're going to count the number of segments and then we're going to return it at the end. So we just got to increment this when we find a sequence of non-space characters. So to check that, first thing you want to do is if the string starts with characters, that's already your first segment. So you want to have a condition to check um, if i is equal to zero, and you're going to want to have an extra parenthesis, or, so if i is equal to zero, or, and you, well, Hold on, let's do this. If i is equal to zero and s dot char at the current character is not equal to a empty space, well then that's an increment. Uh, then that's a segment, right? If the f if you're at the first index, the first character, and it is not a white space, then you found a segment. So you can just increment it right there. If you did find a white space, then that is not a segment. That's white space you know so you just got to check that as well and then we'll have an or here as well so if it was the first character and it's not uh in the current if it's the first index and it's not a white space then you increment or if it's the uh if the last character you saw is um a white space and so this is the condition if it was uh, if the last character was a white space and the current character isn't, then you also increment the segment. So if you see a white space here, and then the next character is not a white space, then you're finding another segment. So it would loop through. It would say, okay, if I is zero and the current character is not a sh uh, white space, okay, there you go. That's a segment. Then you keep looping through. We don't find any of these that match because the uh, the last character is not a white space. Then we hit the white space, then we hit M. Up, oh, last character was a white space now, current character is not, incremented, so that's two. White space, then you hit N, last was white space, current isn't. Segments three, I, last is white space, current isn't. Four, J, last is white space, current isn't. Five, and then you return segments. So that was the whole problem here. Um, very easy, fast, linear scan through. Uh, like I said, you could also do the, uh, you know, just trim it up, split it on the array, and just return the length of that, split it into an array. But, uh, yeah, then you have to, you know, use space. So you probably just want to do the loop through. That's probably what they would want you to do anyway. To, I mean, I don't know what the point of the problem would be to just use a built-in method anyway. But um, there you go. One of the easiest problems on the site. So thank you guys for watching. I'm back on my Lico grind. I uh, appreciate all of you. And uh, going to be doing a ton of videos this weekend. So be on the lookout. All right. See you guys.